Hello everyone, previously we showed how to identify the log4j package in SIFT and how to identify the vulnerabilities with an image or source directory or file system with Gripe. Now we will focus on doing those same things, except within the context of the Anchor Enterprise product, and specifically focusing on Anchor CTL. So I've gone ahead and already run some of these commands, so we'll just go ahead and focus in on first grabbing the specific vulnerabilities as it relates to log4j. So we'll go ahead and grab the image content first. So what we're going to do is uh, use Anchor CTL or for all my legacy Anchor users, this is uh, Anchor CLI. The command remains the same. So we're going to do an Anchor CTL or Anchor CLI image content and then you provide the image name and from there we are going to grep for that log4j package. So it will look pretty similar um, to what we had in SIFT. So you see the packages with the uh, path to those packages and where they're installed within that image, right? Um, now we'll go ahead and focus in on the vulnerability aspect of that, right? So we'll start with the first vulnerability and I'll kind of walk through these so that way we can go through and identify all three of the disclosures. So. If you're watching this, as of uh, the making of this video on December 21st, you should now be patching uh, to Apache Log4j 2.17. So this first CVE that we're looking for is specifically related to the uh, initial um, Log4j discovery. So this is CVE 2021-4428. So we're going to go ahead and find that within that image. So we could see that there. Um, you could see that it's coming from N NVDV2, um, and you'll see the CVEs that are populated uh, under that CVE identifier. So like I said, that was the first one uh, that we identified. And then um, eventually, right, there was that initial patch, and then uh, I believe it was 2.16, and then 2.16 or 2.15 had a CVE located within that. Um, so now we'll go ahead and search for that. So there we'll see the same matches. And then uh, lastly, there was one more, which brings us to um, a log4j 2.17 patch. So we're going to look for this uh, CVE within that image, again, using Anchor CTL. And all this is doing is interacting with the Enterprise API and pulling that uh, CVE result from the image uh, during that, from an image that's already been been scanned. So there you have it. That's how you use Anchor CTL to search the software bill of materials for the Log4j uh, package using Anchor CTL and how you use Anchor CTL to identify vulnerabilities relative to the Log4j vulnerability. Happy hunting.